Hi, this is Jesse Luna with JesseLuna.com and today I have a job search tip for you. And what we're going to do is we're going to use Wordle.net to kind of help, help us visualize the main keywords that are associated with the job description. This is something that you would do after you've already gone through a screening process and have, uh, you know, you have a list of jobs and then you're kind of narrowing it down to maybe the five jobs that you want to uh, apply for on that day or on that week. So what, what you can do is you can take the information from the job description, put it into Wordle, and visualize and see what are the main keywords associated with that. Sounds a little abstract, so let's go ahead and actually do that. Okay, I'm going to go to my first job description, which is for a program analyst IT position. And we're go I'm going to um, select the description, the duties, qualifications and requirements for that position. So that's everything that the hiring manager put together and spent a lot of time uh, crafting so uh, that's very important so you know how that fits into uh, what they're looking for in a candidate. So now we've copied that and now we're going to go over to wordle.net and then go up to the create button and click on the create button and then up here there's a paste and a bunch of text box so let's paste that in we just paste it in our job description and now I'm going to take out these um, additional words like requirements additional qualifications because those aren't really part of the description and it'll clean things up just a little and that's pretty good now I'm going to click go and we're going to see what the main keywords are associated with this job description so by looking at this data visualization, we can see some of the keywords now. So we see support, data, systems, application, development, new, uh, union, that's related to this job position. So if those words aren't really in your, uh, in your repertoire, in your uh, job uh, history or experience, uh, or you're not even interested in them, then this might not be the right job for you. So it's actually pretty good for me. So I may go back and apply for this. Let's take a look at another job and, and see how that one works. Okay, this is a different position. We're going to copy the position overview, duties and responsibilities, qualifications, preferred, um, some extra information there. We're going to copy that. We're going to go back to Wordle. We're going to create a new one. So I click on the create again. We're going to paste that one in and take out the word preferred required qualifications so they're more just uh, headings not so much part of the job okay so we've cleaned that up now we can click on the go button again and see what this visualization looks like I don't like the color on this so I'm gonna click on randomize just to get a different uh, view I don't like this one too much either. I'm going to click on randomize one more time. And I don't like that one either. One more time. Sorry. And that one's really not helpful. <laughs> one more. Okay, I can start to get a sense on this one. It's really important to know accounting, uh, donations, education, organization. Um, oh, here's accounting again. So in this case, it, it differentiated between uppercase and lowercase, so it's important to know that. So I'm going to make them all lowercase. And now we really get a good sense as to what this job is looking for. It's looking for somebody in accounting, in an organization. The word experience is important. So if you have no experience in accounting, this may not be your number one uh, choice in terms of what you're going to put your energy into. Uh, or maybe it's the perfect one for you. If that's the case, then this is a good way to do additional screening after you go through your top five list, and then you can go in, uh, uh, craft your resume and your cover letter, and focusing in on those keywords as you as you mention them in there. If you're not mentioning those in your cover letter, then you know the hiring manager who put that description together is going to wonder, hey, I wonder where the where's the experience on this. 
you know, where's the experience in organization on? So those are some uh, tips how to use data visualization with uh, Wordle.net to help you really kind of just filter through all the keywords and all the descriptions. Sometimes it gets a little overwhelming. This might help. Uh, I actually used this for a job interview the other day. Uh, unfortunately, I did it right before the interview and saw one of the key technical uh, skills that was necessary. I did a little quick uh, review on that and they actually brought it up in the interview. Uh, I was actually tested on it in the interview. So uh, that gave me a little bit of a heads up, although it would have been good if I did it earlier. So hopefully this will give you a little help uh, in the job search process. I'm still using it. Uh, and all I can say is good luck to you and uh, here's to success.